I was thinking about my theory of perfect scores, and, uh, well, you can play them theoretically perfect by playing them, you know, super stock, by be always being on the green in regulation or under regulation on, say, the par fives, but if you really want the absolute perfect score, I guess you would technically have to hit the ball in the hole from whatever your shot onto the green in regulation would be, on every hole, that would be absolutely maddening. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to Cheeky Beak Peak and clear out the place. I'm not counting on there being any sort of new side quests or anything like that as far as I'm aware, but eh, we might as well take a look-see around to see if there's anyone with new dialogue or anything like that. Eh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all dialogue we've seen before. This area isn't all that large, so it'll just be a quick run around here before I get to the course. As, well, course was right up over that way, so that was my last ball, too. My last ball. No. I wonder if they could get their balls back from the cheeky beak somehow, like sneaking over... Wait, actually, why, why are you not ready to try this? There's no more cheeky beaks to mess with your shot. You could totally drop a ball here and then go for the putt down that away. Couldn't Or chip it down that away. Couldn't you? Like, you don't have to worry about the cheeky beaks anymore. You just kind of... Right down there. Yeah, I know that was too hard, but still. But still. You know what? You know what? Aha. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Aha! Oh, and speaking of the ball thing, remember I said I was gonna try throwing balls off the cliff? Well, let's see what. Yeah, see, they do fall off the cliff like that when you, when you throw them off. You even got a little sound effect that sounds sort of like the Zelda sound effect in ways like when you fall down a hole or something like that. But when you kick a ball off the edge, it it, it doesn't seem. Yeah, look at why. <laughs> What the what the boop? <laughs> what the boop? <laughs> that might be a slight oversight in the programming, but <laughs> it's entertaining though. It doesn't really affect gameplay. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, that's a thing. <laughs> See, I, I don't think I. I, th I attempted throwing balls over the cliff before until there because I would have uh, I would have remembered that sound effect because of how similar it was to Zelda. So, yeah, I guess I indeed did not. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> indeed did not. It was like a double negative in a way. I don't. <laughs> anyway, I should just probably go ahead and flop over to here. Say hello to the birds. Wait, actually, have I been able to talk to the birds now? Like. The friendly birds that are around here, because remember, we didn't really... Nah, it doesn't look like it, because I was thinking that maybe uh, the birds might have some new dialogue now that they are uh, no longer raging because <laughs> their eggs are being stolen. But anyway, anyway, how's it going? Ready to head out to the course? No, yes. So somehow, despite me playing this course like a boss, I still I did not manage to get all the birdie badges somehow. Somehow! But this time, this time could very well be different. I don't remember which ones I'm missing though. I thought it was just one hole. Eh, uh, we shall see. Let's play! Uh, actually, I'm already playing. I already hit. <laughs> and she has stopped. On the fairway, of course. And given that wind direction, if I curve my ball a little bit like so, Maybe I can get it to roll in the hole because I can utilize the forward shot angle, I guess you could say, to take out a lot of the break and... Oh, I missed. I tried. I tried. <laughs> and a little curvature. I'm in the rough, but as usual, I'm going to overhit anyway just to nail it. 
Well, remember I was saying that if you get the hole, uh, getting the hole with the pin out, it's 0 0.3 yards, they say, still, but that one was 0 0.5 with the pin in, so I guess there is a slight difference, but with the pin out, it still should be 0, 0, because it's directly in the center based on the curvature of the cup leading everything to the center, like, you know, when you just plop the flag in there after you finish a hole. Anyway, so I guess hole 7 is the one that may do me in on this particular run. Then I'll have to cut ahead until I get to my, my winning run of that hole or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's a little... Actually, I don't have to cut it back that way. Yeah, I can just use irons. Oh, and I noticed that I did not change my woods. That was on purpose this time because I get the curvature Plus, I get the, um, like, because there's no water on this course, as you've seen it, but the thing about it is that I'll get my curvature, and, the, like, super curvature for all those crazy angles that I might have trouble with, and I'll be able to potentially get more birdies out of that using them. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna try and nail it in. Ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> that was my own fault for leaving myself so far away, actually. Well, I guess this technically won't be a perfect round. Well, I should say perfect in a way that's just like regular, non-chipping in from a distance as I described at the beginning of the uh, the part here. Not the beginning of the round, like I was about to misspeak. Beginning of the parts. Alright, part five. That should be a birdie territory then. What if I should try hitting over to this? Cheeky beak, because that's that's the color of happiness right there. <laughs> if you get get it by that particular color, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna help you get on ahead. That should be alright. Let's see what my drive does. Oh. oh look who's teeing the ball up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could use the bird, but what's the point if I am, uh, uh, if I'm gonna end up being further away from the hole anyway, right? Uh, go up and, I mean, uh, I mean, ooh, I mean, around this way, there we go. Not, not that much. Just, just enough. Just enough to get around those trees, but not hitting into the other tree. There we go. Alright, I got it curved above the tree branches and around the other ones. So yeah, I kind of put myself in an awkward position there, and the, but the bird could have helped me, and I went for the potential eagle. It just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Alright, 72. Super high loft with the wind. Should leave me short and roll it to the hole. Oh, yeah! Even better than I was hoping for. So I guess I didn't need that cheeky beak bird whatsoever. <laughs> Alright. Next up... Looks pretty easy. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward all the way through. And it's a par 5 to boots. Uh, try and go... Well, actually, no, maybe I should go straight... Straight down and go right across. No, no, because that's got that little pooper of rough over there. I could try landing it over here by that cheeky beak bird. That could be dicey! Oh, yeah. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be that hard because I got my spin up higher. Let's see here. Hit the bird so it stops. <laughs> I was too late to say that anyway, but. Yeah, the balls don't affect the birds whatsoever. So that's where that particular bird's nest is. Yeah, the orange colored ones are okay. They're your buddies. The other ones, they're probably gonna do you in. Hmm. Mmm, yeah, that should be good, actually. <laughs> I mean, it, it just seemed like everything fell into place really quick that I had to actually take a pause thinking about it. Or... maybe not. I guess the slope was more than slight over there. Because that certainly felt like that I would have had enough spin to pull that off. Uh, well, that was two shots, but I wanted to get my eagles here. Who wouldn't want their eagles here? I'm gonna go ahead and... Do a nice low running shot. <laughs> I hate when I have to press the button so quickly, it's so hard to feel out. Oh, well, looks like I'm gonna have to settle for a birdie. Alas, alas. <laughs> Not my best score on this hole, as you've seen on the card here. But, well, I tried my best. I have no regrets. 
So I guess this round... I'm already two shots back from a technically perfect score that I was describing at the beginning of the round without chipping. So, yeah, looks like this isn't going to be the epic perfection run without long chippings. I, I, I really don't... <laughs> I don't know if I would have the tolerance to do that many chippings. That seems like it would be a mega, mega precise and also a very, very annoying quest trying to get the ball in that many holes in a row without any sort of fails on the chipping approach shot type things. Yeah! So... Yeah... I mean, may maybe I'll feel like it, I'll get like the hang of the game's physics enough to pull that off, but... I don't know if it'll be any time soon, because this... It's still golf, and as I said before, golf is very, very hard. Do not underestimate the difficulty of golf. There's a tiny hole hundreds of yards away from you, and you've got to get it in that hole within a certain amount of shots or less. <laughs> Just putting that out there as a little perspective. Uh, that should be fine for getting the ball to stop with its rollout problems because it's got the rough. Yeah, wow, that actually slowed down a lot when it hit that bushy thing, the weedy thing, whatever you want to call it. Heath, maybe, might be. Anyway, I am okay, and there aren't, doesn't seem to be any friendly orange birds to plop my ball in some sort of nice fashion, so I guess I'm gonna have to. Go ahead and play to bounce it on the regular fairway to get as max distance as possible, just like that. Actually, maybe I, maybe that landed in the rough slightly, because I think that would have had more rollout if it would have landed on the fairway, but eh, eh, wait, actually, go, go, that wind, oh, actually, <laughs> if I do a focus shot, yeah, I could actually cut that wind out. Oh yeah, look at me using my powers. And like, I also noticed on a focus shot the bar moves really slow. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing though, because when you're used to the bar moving at a certain speed, and then you get it going really slow, it's like, uh oh. Uh oh, don't, don't under hit, don't under hit, don't over hit, oh god, I did it! <laughs> At least that's what it feels like to me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, don't mess with the timing, man. All right, seventh hole, right here. Can I get the birdie that I need to 100% this sucker? Maybe, that looks pretty manageable. Mm. High height, so it ni nice slows down nicely. When it on its, on its landing, don't miss hit on the very thin fairway because it's going to go out of bounds, or at least I think that's out of bounds. If you drop your ball off the edge of the cliff, I would assume so. Just, uh, just a hunch. Uh, okay. Should I? I think I should. I think I should do another focus shot just to be absolutely sure that I get it near the hole. Even though that's- oh shoot! Even though that's really slow. I just want to be sure, and I'm also using the 72 degree to boot. Okay, nice and safe. It looks like we've got a birdie. Or do we? Just gonna move it off to the side a little bit. Oh, please go in! Okay. <laughs> just, I just don't always trust myself. I mean, I, I, I see Nick get out of chance to go in, but I, I don't know. Some days, if you just hit the edge of the cup, and you know what? Slight slope doesn't necessarily mean slight slope. It could could go to your doom. That looks pretty good there. I don't think it's gonna roll out too far even with the wind because of the, the slight slope in my face. Well, against me, I should say. The wind is with me, the slope is against me. And they sort of counteract each other in a way, I would say. <laughs> yeah! You know, if you think about it, um, since I got that birdie on the seventh hole that I didn't do before, I'm, I'm technically slightly ahead. Well, no, no, I couldn't be slightly. I was going to say I'm slightly ahead of my older scores because 
I, I did better on the other holes on other rounds, so maybe not. Maybe not. It was undeserved self-praise. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what's... Oh yeah, the trees. Gotta hit over the trees. Also, avoid the birds. Uh, I don't know. Well, that one's okay, I guess, because it's orange. The orange ones are your buddies. I'm just trying to land it in the bunker on the fly, I guess. Because I don't want it to bounce over by hitting into the grass or something like that, and it just decides, oh, no, I'm going to bounce over the bunker. Oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's not the distance boost I was expecting, but that is helpful. Alright. Can I eagle? Maybe. I'm going to try and mega curve this over into that gap way off to the side and there we go like normally i'd have to hit straight more like more straight towards the hole but with my super -de duper curved clubs i can take advantage of that and roll it right up there i guess but can i get an eagle that is the go question yeah yes i can <sighs> 10 under par i think that's tied for my best on this one <sighs> But not the best that you can get on a technically perfect round. <laughs> but I'll take it, because I got all the badges. Woo! Yes! Yes, they're still paying me to play their courses, too. <laughs> so I guess it looks like that the end of this part is near. So I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we head on over to the Bermuda Isles, because I do believe that is the fourth course in the order of business. Oh, look at that, we're already here. <laughs>